If this video helps you out, remember to subscribe. What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more golf with your friends. This is a under par guide for the escapist course and just like my previous videos I'm not going to be getting a hole in one on every course or doing any kind of crazy trick shots I just want to show you guys how to get under par for the achievement or trophy So right here on the first hole We're just going straight one and a half bars and you want to just make sure you don't hit the prisoner For hole number two, we're going to go full power off the right side wall. You want to line up with the line in the brick on the wall. And you might get a hole in one here. It's kind of pixel perfect. If you don't, you'll be right next to the hole for an easy two. Hole number three is an easy hole in one. We're gonna go full power aiming exactly where I am. You can use the pattern on the ground to line it up and you'll go straight to the hole. Like hole number two, hole number four is a pixel perfect shot. We're gonna go full power, aiming right where I am, kind of like lining up with the chair in the background. And we're gonna bounce off the wall and possibly get a hole in one. Otherwise, you'll have an easy two. Hole number five, we're gonna go three and a half bars right off the edge of this ramp sign in front of us, and this will take us to the hole for an easy two. For hole number six, there's a crazy hole in one we can try, but instead I'm just going to play it normally. You're going to want to do about two and a half to not fall down here, but if you do fall down here, no big deal. Just go ahead and whack it as hard as you can, looking a little bit to the left, and you should easily get an eagle or a birdie here on this hole. Hole number seven is our first water hole, and we want to go a little bit under two bars. You're going to want to do a little bit less than me if you want the hole in one. And as soon as you hit the water, you want to jump two times, and this should get you the hole in one. Otherwise, if you put a little bit too much power like me, you'll hit the rim and go just around the hole, but you'll have an easy birdie anyways. Hole number eight is another pixel perfect. We're going full power off the left side of the furnace that's next to the flag. And this can be a hole in one, otherwise you're gonna have an easy eagle. For hole number nine, we're gonna go just a little bit under full power, aiming at this corner block right here. And you wanna make sure that you go when the furnaces are letting up air so that you'll fly across. Now, depending on your timing, you can either make it around the corner and right to the hole and have an easy two, or you'll hit off the wall and bounce a little bit further back and need to set up your second shot so that you can get an easy three. I'm gonna have to do the second shot because I bounce off the wall, so it all depends on your timing. You'll either bounce off the wall or you'll make it around the corner and be next to the hole. Either way, it's a very easy two or three putt.
Hole number 10, we're going to start with a full power shot off this right side wall. You want to line up with the thick black line in the wall. This will bounce us off the fence and into a little divot here. From here, we're going to go three and a half power aiming for the fence that's in front of us, making sure we don't hit the police officer, and you should make it through the fence and down to this area where the dogs are. From here, we're just going to go full power aiming towards the hole, which is right down that little corridor. Make sure you don't hit any of the dogs and you'll go straight into the hole for an eagle. For hole 11, we're going to go full power off of this wall in front of us. We basically want to line up the door and the door frame in the background, then just go ahead and let it rip, and you should end up right next to the flag for an easy two. For hole number 12, we have yet another pixel perfect hole in one. You're going to want to go just a squeeze above three power, and we're going to aim a little bit to the left like we're aiming right at the flagpole. Don't hit the police officer, and we'll end up in the water. When you get into the water, don't immediately press jump. Wait like one split moment, and then jump. You should have enough power to get to the hole. You'll either end up in the hole or right next to it for an easy two. For hole 13, we're going to go about two and a half power off this wall to the left. Basically, you just want to aim kind of in the center of the wall, and it will bounce you through towards the hole using the vent that's in front of us. From here, we're going to go two and a half bars towards the hole. You can use the pattern on the floor to see exactly where I'm aiming. However, if you want to end up right into the bowl, you'll want to look a little bit more to the left than I am in order to bounce off the wall and then into the hole itself. Otherwise, you'll have an easy shot for your third putt. Hole 14 has some weird physics with this ramp, so just a warning, this ramp could send you flying. But what we're doing here is we're going 100% full power using the pattern on the ground to line it up, and I'm going to go straight into the hole. Again, if for whatever reason this ramp messes you up or something, just play the hole like normal, because we're already so far below par, you'll be absolutely fine. Hole 15 is a big fat fail for me, so you guys can laugh at my failure. Just play the hole normally, don't even pay attention to what I'm trying to do, but basically what I'm trying to do is 3 power off this sidewall, which would bounce me all the way over to the hole and not back here, but instead it bounced me all the way back here. There is a way to make that shot work, I just couldn't figure it out, I guess. But anyways, play the hole normally, you're so far under par already that you should be fine, and the next couple holes we're going to do perfectly anyways. So yeah, uh, you guys get to watch me fail here, and I'm also going to fail right there, and I'm going to miss the hole as well, so make sure to laugh at me in the comments. Hole 16 is actually a pretty easy hole-in-one if you're able to get it right. 
All you need to do is go full power off this back wall, and as soon as you touch the water, jump, and you'll jump over towards the flag. For whatever reason, the game didn't count my jump, like my input just didn't work. So if you end up over here, no big deal. Just go one power and jump across, and then you can easily get it in with your third putt. Hole 17 is super easy, we're just going to go full power off the side of this rock. This is going to put us all the way up here and right near the flag. From here you can attack the flag by going up the hill or you can just make it up the hill and then take your third putt to hit the flag. For hole 18, our first shot, we're gonna go just a squeeze above three power and we wanna aim off this left side wall. There's a gray box that we're aiming at. Just go ahead and shoot it and you should end up next to the conveyor belt. From here, we wanna go full power off this rock in front of us, just a little bit to the right of the flag in the background and you should land right here at the bottom of the hill. From here, we can attack the hole with about two and a little bit more than a half power, and we should end up either right next to the hole or in the hole for an eagle. And that is your under par guide here for the escapist course. You will get your achievement or trophy for doing this.